In this tutorial, we will illustrate the modeling of a shear wall by creating a concrete elevator core as shown here. The key to creating shear walls with openings is to use the reference planes and reference lines options in combination with the plan fine grid spacing controls. All these options may be accessed by right clicking away from the model. Start by checking the fine grid, which should be set to 48 inches. This value may be set to any that you desire, but for this three story concrete building, 48 inches will provide the needed. Next, select Create Reference Lines on Plan. We will window in for more detail. Make sure that the Snap to Fine Grid option is on. And in the plan view, you may add reference lines by left clicking to define the geometry of the core walls, such as at corners and edges of openings. If you are unable to locate the reference lines via the grids, you may modify the position by simply going to Edit Reference Lines. Now add the reference planes to define the top of our door openings. The story heights in this building are typically 12 feet, and the door openings are to be 8 feet. Click the Edit, Edit Reference Planes command and enter 8 feet, 20 feet, and 32 feet. Note that the program automatically converts feet to inch units. To start drawing the walls, make sure that the similar stories is on, and then select the Draw, Draw Area Objects, Draw Walls command. Make sure that the property is Wall 1. Click on the points which define the geometry of the core walls but do only the four walls with no openings. Note that we have drawn the back walls two elements and although this is not necessary from an analytical standpoint due to ETAB's automated line constraints, breaking up this wall gives us more flexibility later in the design phase. Switch the 3D view to an elevation view along grid line 2 and click on the Create Areas at Click. Draw the entire wall by using the Selection Box technique. To create the openings, first turn off the Fine Grid Snap. Click on the Select Object tool, and click on each of the wall elements that should be doors. Once all these are selected, simply delete to create the openings. Next, we will remove the slab in the interior of the core. Make the plan view active and set the object fill to on. Select the draw areas command and set the property to opening. Check that similar stories is set, and then draw around the perimeter of the two elevator shafts. To obtain a better perspective of our building, change the left view to a 3D view and select the top floor. Go to the Select Invert command, which will select everything but the top floor and then go to the View Show Selection Only to view the building without the top floor.